Pedro Lopez, often referred to as the Monster of the Andes, is one of the most notorious serial killers in history. His gruesome crimes spanned multiple countries, and the sheer number of his victims is both shocking and horrifying. This video delves into the life and crimes of Pedro Lopez, shedding light on the dark legacy he left behind. Early Life and Troubled Childhood Pedro Alonso Lopez was born on October 8, 1948, in Santa Isabel, Colombia. From an early age, Lopez experienced a tumultuous and troubled upbringing. He was one of 13 children, and his father was a cruel and abusive alcoholic. Lopez's mother, unable to cope with her large family, reportedly tried to drown him in a river when he was eight years old. Escalation of Violence As Lopez grew older, his twisted desires and panchang for violence became apparent. In his late teens, he was arrested for stealing cars and other petty crimes. This marked the beginning of a dark and disturbing journey that would plague the lives of countless innocent victims. Lopez's Killing Spree Lopez's killing spree began in the 1970s when he targeted young girls in Ecuador, Peru, and Colombia. He preyed on vulnerable children, often those from impoverished backgrounds or street children who had run away from home. Lopez would gain their trust by offering them food, shelter, or money before luring them to remote locations where he would strangle or sexually assault them. The number of victims The exact number of victims attributed to Pedro Lopez remains unknown but estimates range from 100 to over 300. Lopez himself claimed to have killed more than 300 young girls, and his chilling confessions led authorities to uncover numerous mass graves. The sheer magnitude of his crimes sent shockwaves throughout the affected countries, leaving a lasting scar on the communities and families he devastated. Arrest, release, and current status. In 1980, Lopez's reign of terror came to a halt when an attempted abduction in Ecuador led to his capture. The authorities discovered the remains of several victims near his hideout, and Lopez was charged with multiple murders. Shockingly, due to a combination of a dysfunctional justice system and overcrowded prisons, Lopez was released in 1998 after serving just 18 years of his sentence. Lopez's whereabouts since his release remain largely unknown. It is speculated that he may have returned to his criminal activities, or even moved to other countries where he could continue his reign of terror. The lack of vigilance and international cooperation in tracking his movements has frustrated many who believe that he poses an ongoing threat to society. Legacy and Lessons Learned Pedro Lopez's case serves as a haunting reminder of the depths of human depravity. His ability to evade capture for years, the magnitude of his crimes, and the early release from prison highlight the failures of the justice system. His story serves as a stark call to action emphasizing the importance of international cooperation in tracking and apprehending serial killers to ensure the safety of communities worldwide. Conclusion Pedro Lopez, the Monster of the Andes, remains one of the most chilling and disturbing figures in criminal history. His monstrous acts of violence and the countless lives he took leave an indelible mark on the communities he terrorized. The legacy of Pedro Lopez serves as a stark reminder of the darkness that can reside within human beings compelling us to remain vigilant in our pursuit of justice and the protection of innocent lives. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.